Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what I got for Valentine's Day haul, I guess you could say. I switched my cameras out and kind of messed with the lighting and I think it is a lot better than what it used to be. Um, I know my quality was like really bad and yeah, so hopefully this is a little bit better and a little bit easier to watch because it's not so crappy. We're getting ready to go out to dinner and all that soon, so I'm just going to get into it because, you know, I'm always running late. So the first thing is this fresh bamboo candle. And this is from Bath and Body Works, but it is the White Barn brand. And it's a very clean scent. I love this scent, especially for spring. Um, it says, Recharge and reset with this inspiring blend of sweet bamboo, lush jasmine, and wild grasses grounded with warm oak. It seems like there's a lot of jasmine in like all of their candles. I'm a big fan of fresh bamboo, me and my mom both, and I'm kind of nervous she's going to steal that candle from me. So the next thing also from Bath and Body Works is a lotion, and this is the Bali Mango Lotion. And I never smelled this before, and actually it smells really good. Everyone knows that I love, like, fruity scents, but it's actually pretty clean, too. This is probably one of my favorite lotions that I own now. If my hair is ever sticking out, just ignore that, because I always notice in my videos, there's, like, hairs everywhere. So, I'm really sorry. Never is there a good hair day for me. So, the next thing that my boyfriend got me is this really pretty bracelet. It's a gold chain, and then it has some kind of silver hearts with some diamonds. And I think it's just absolutely beautiful. He's really good for a guy. He always picks out like the most beautiful pieces. The next thing I got is from Victoria's Secret Pink. And this is just a pink um, zip up hoodie. And I really like the material of it. It's very light, but it'll keep me warm. So it's perfect for like spring when it's not too cold, but not too warm. And then the next jacket I got is a little bit of a heavier one. And it's just turquoise blue with some black writing and it says pink. All of their stuff is so nicely made. I love their sweatpants and their jackets. They're so comfortable. And the last thing from Victoria's Secret that I got is just a kind of tangerine colored phone case and that's great because I can never have too many phone cases because I always seem to drop my phone. I also wanted to mention, you probably noticed by now back there, but I have three dozen roses. I just split them between two vases because they were all like crunched up into one base and it just did not work out. My boyfriend got me those and I'll insert pictures here just so you get a better look at them. I think the roses are absolutely beautiful. He always surprises me with them and it's so cute. Even when they die, I just keep them in a box. I just like to keep them. I don't know if anyone else does that. So the next thing in my basket is a teddy bear because no Valentine's Day is complete without a cute stuffed animal, right? He's just a little white teddy bear and he's holding a heart and it says love and has a heart on his other foot and he's just so cute. So the next thing are these cute little earrings and they're just little bows and I really love them. They're so adorable. Adorable. They're by Candies. I think you can get these at Kohl's. Now I have some MAC products that I wanted to show you and this is probably going to be sort of hard to see. I'm going to swatch them real quick. So the first thing I got is a lipstick and this is Snob. And this is a satin finish. And it's just the tube. You know what the tube looks like. And it's just a nice kind of mauve nude pink color and I really like it. That's what it looks like. If that's not really showing up, then you can definitely just Google it. I'm sure a lot of people have way better quality swatches than me. The next thing I got is a eye cool pencil thing. And this is just a cool eyeliner. I always have trouble opening my packaging. I think I'm just stupid. But it is in the color Teddy. And it's just a brown color what it looks like and it's actually a good amount of product. I don't really have any um, eyeliners this big so it should last me a while. And that is the swatch of it. I'm really happy that I got this because I don't really have any brown eyeliners and I think it will just be fun to experiment with and try something new. The next product is an eyeshadow and this is in Naked Lunch. You're probably getting the reflection. But it's just a very nice kind of um, natural, naked, obviously, from the name. I really wanted to start getting some eyeshadows so I could depot them and go back to MAC with my empty things. I'm going to try to swatch this even though it's going to be a fail, but um, I don't have any eyeshadow like this. I have so many like neutral palettes, but honestly, this is unlike anything I've ever had. There's kind of a swatch for you, and I'll try to swatch it on my hand, but 
it's probably just going to be a fail. It's kind of like a nice champagne color, kind of like sand, but a lot lighter, if that makes any sense. It's a nice everyday color. Um, it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's the tiniest bit. It's nothing overpowering because I'm not too crazy about wearing a bunch of shimmery eyeshadows on a daily basis. Next is a blush, and this is in Well Dressed, and I've been wanting this blush for a while. This is my first MAC blush. Yay. I've been, like, obsessed with MAC lately. Um, I've really been getting into it, and now I see what all the buzz is about. Does anyone even say that? Guess not. But it's just a nice kind of dusty pink color. It's very, very light, which I like because I don't like wearing dark colors on my cheeks. Going to try to swatch this, but it's, again, very light, so you're probably not even going to be able to see it. Yeah, you can't see it. But if you look up on Google, I'm sure you can find something on there. This is a satin finish. It's a matte blush, which I like. I don't know. Sometimes I like wearing shimmer, but other times I don't. The last product that I got is a mineralized skin finish and soft and gentle. And then I wanted this to highlight just on my brow bone and, you know, just highlight. Just highlight above my cheeks. But it's like a baked kind of blush. Have you ever seen the Milani ones? It's very similar to this, but it's just kind of a... Um, more natural highlight I think. I'm going to try to swatch this. This might show up a little better. Um, it's like almost like half baked but a lot not a lot less shimmer. That's what I'm looking for and it's not as gold and you probably can't see that either. It's kind of hard to swatch these kind of things because they're so light but yeah I'm sure you've all heard about this. It's an amazing product I've heard and I used it today and so far I love it so I'm really glad I got that. So, of course, we got the humongous box of chocolates. And I'm going to gain a thousand pounds this month. Then I got, like, this little Whitman's um, milk chocolate bar, and there's a cat on it. And then the last thing in there are the Dove chocolates, and I'm making a lot of noise. Like, these are just the caramel milk chocolate ones. And me and my boyfriend always eat these. I got them for him, too, which is actually pretty funny. But, um... All the candy was in this cute little bucket thing, and I'm not sure where this is from if you're wondering, but um, it's just a pink bucket with a cutout heart with an arrow going through, and it's very shimmery, and I love this. It's... Ow. I love it. I think it's so adorable, and I'm going to keep it out in my room even past Valentine's Day because I just love it that much. So hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I hope you guys are having a great Valentine's Day. I'm going to go out to dinner now. I've been holding him up for a really long time. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.